as we have discovered the endpoints here, so right now what I'm going to do is that I will just simply go to the manage access keys. So access keys are used to authenticate the access to the storage account. Uh, two access keys are provided, which is the number one is the primary access key and number two is the secondary access key. And here is the storage account. So this is something that is required whenever you're going to connect with the storage account. And uh, you can uh, also regenerate that. Basically, I would say it is a good practice that uh, you regen regenerate the keys uh, at regular intervals, which is actually advised uh, because of the security reasons, because obviously you'll be having some data in uh, your storage account, maybe in the blobs and tables or in queues or maybe in, in the form of files. So it's a better idea if you just uh, keep on regenerating that and to just simply regenerate it. That I simply go here and click on regenerate and there you go. And it is regenerating the primary access key. Whereas to regenerate for the secondary access key, you can simply just go here, click on regenerate just like you did for the primary access key. And click here, it's regenerating and there you go, it has regenerated that. And here you will see that the storage uh, account name is already appearing here. And this is how you would be able to manage uh, the access keys. And uh, in the next video, what we are going to do is that we will just see the different ways that how you can manage data to the Azure storage in the form of blobs, tables, queues, and files.